I'm not speaking on the fear. I'm speaking the spirit of fear. When I gone through a lot of stuff, I clearly understood the fear and the spirit of fear. There are two different concepts, or they are in two different realms. The fear is con confined to the natural realm, but the spirit of fear confined to the spiritual realm. Amen. Hallelujah. Which I'm going to explain to you. All right. Now, Paul is saying to Timothy, "Hey, my son Timothy, for God has not given us." The spirit of fear, Amen, Hallelujah. It is a spirit of fear. God did not give you and me the spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and sound mind. People of God, power is a supernatural realm. Love is again the supernatural realm. Love is not what you and me understand. What you and me understand, love. Is failures and heroes, but the another love called the agape love, and the agape love is not confined to the natural world. The agape love is confined to the supernatural world, that is the spiritual realm. So what I understand from this, uh, uh, the very words Paul is not talking to Timothy about the fear. Paul is talking to Timothy about the spirit of fear. So for you to overcome the spirit of fear, as I said, spirit of fear is not confined only to the natural realm, but the spirit of fear is confined in the supernatural realm. So for you to overcome the supernatural spirit of fear, you have to step into another realm, the same realm, which is called the spiritual realm, to have the power of God, to have the love, which is Agape love of God and also to have the sound mind. We have mind many a time, but we we don't have sound mind. Sound mind is comes from the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Sound mind is a wisdom, and our mind is a knowledge. You got to understand that. Now I just wanted to show you what is fear. Thereby we can go into the message. Fear is confined to the natural realm. As I said, what is the natural realm? Any unpleasant emotion caused by the threat of danger, pain, or harm. Listen carefully. Any unpleasant uh, emotion. Fear, fear is basically an emotional issue. And any unpleasant emotion which is causing that there is a threat Danger, aha, that is called fear. Let me explain to you. Fear by itself is good. Amen. Hallelujah. How can I say that fear itself is good? Do not smoke. Uh, smoking is injurious to health. That is what the warning we see. That means it is telling you, hey, if you smoke, you cause damage to your health. So that's a warning, that's a danger. So because I have a danger there, I stop doing that. That's fear. So fear by itself is good. There are so many things in the Bible, there's a warnings. All the warnings tells about the fear of danger. Please understand. Any warning, see, do not commit adultery. I do not commit fornication. I do not steal. I do not say lies. These are all the warnings by itself is good for us so that we can stop it. The fear here is not afraid of it. The fear here is we respect that. Amen. Hallelujah. You understand? You got to understand this word spirit of fear and fear. Fear is something we respect and stop the thing so that we don't get into danger. What I am sharing now is a spirit of fear. Spirit of fear is totally different from the definition of uh, fear. Let me see what is the spirit of fear. Spirit of fear is, it intends to keep you from fulfilling the destiny of God. Amen. Hallelujah. This is a spirit that hinders, that lingers in your mind and your heart that will stop you from the destiny of God. Amen. Hallelujah. And fear also stop you from uh, the, the spirit of fear also keep you from living a joyful life. Amen. Hallelujah.
everything unwanted stuff will keep you away from the real joy not happiness I'm talking I'm talking the joy joy never depends on the circumstances around you but uh, joy is always depends on the Lord and your relationship amen hallelujah and not only that the spirit of fear stop you from living a spirit-led existence amen hallelujah what a difference between fear and the spirit of fear that's what Paul is saying God did not give us the spirit of fear amen hallelujah but he given us a power and the love and the hope of God amen hallelujah that's what we see that all right a sound mind it gives us a power it gives us a love and the sound mind but not the spirit of fear if you have the spirit of fear the first thing spirit of fear will do is it will stop you from the destiny of God amen you know why growing in the spiritual life I'd say accept God accept Jesus if people fear different reasons oh if I come to the Lord I can't enjoy myself if I come so that's stopping you from the destiny of God hope you understand what I'm trying to give you the meaning this fear, spirit of fear completely cuts you off from the destiny of God. That is what the spirit of fear. That's what God said. I did not give you the spirit of fear, but I gave you the power to overcome everything. Amen. I gave you the love that can transcend everything. And I give you the sound mind so that you can take additions according to the word of God. Amen. Hallelujah. Oh, suppose say, for example, I'm a Christian, but I never born again. But I come to know the experience of born again when I come to the born again experience I have to take immediately baptism because the Bible tells me believe and be baptized but there's a fear in me oh what people say what society say what my wife say what my this one say that one say because of the spirit of fear you miss the destiny of God hope you understand what I'm just giving an example because of the spirit of fear inside of you, it is stopping you from the destiny of God. Because when you come, obey the word of God, God will take you to the destiny. God will show you the way he wants you to be. So because we disobey the word of God, because of the spirit of fear, we are cutting off from the destiny of God. This is what I'm trying to explain to you.